Good morning, everybody. Here we are, Monday morning. Another opportunity to get our day and our week kicked off in the right direction. This morning, I want to talk about something that is really imperative for us to understand. Uh, we see in the religious world, there's you know you've got this church teaching this and this church teaching this, and you know the the idea that you know everything is fine, everything is okay. You know we're entitled to our own understanding and so forth. But Paul makes a statement, and here's a statement at the end of the book of Colossians. That's one of those that can just very easily just be read over and really not given much thought to it at all. But it is an, an extremely important point that Jesus or that Paul is making here. Notice what he says. Again, he's winding this letter down to the church at Colossae, and he says this. Now, when this epistle is read among you, See that it is also read in the church of the Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the apostle, read the epistle from uh, Laodicea. Now, what's so important about this? What's so important is that here we have recorded Paul. There's two letters that Paul mentions here: the one he wrote to Colossae and the one that he wrote to Laodicea. And so, after each congregation had read that. They were to exchange letters. Now, I wonder if those letters would contradict each other. I wonder if Paul wrote one thing to the church at Colossae and he wrote something completely maybe different or off a little bit uh, to the church at Laodicea. I think we could confidently say, no, he wouldn't have done that. But now we look out into the religious world and that's exactly what we have. I'll give you an example. You know, the things Paul wrote, let's just say, to the, some of the things that he mentions here in the book of Colossians, you know, they'll be, they'll be taught and preached in the Baptist church one way, and then they'll be taught in the Catholic church another way. Or they, uh, the church that lay out of sin, that letter, uh, you know, today you know, would have been taught one way in a Pentecostal church, in another way, you know, in just your neighborhood community church. Why is that? Why? Is there a difficulty in understanding what Paul said? Was he gray? Was he you know, misleading in these things? I don't believe so. I, I believe the, fault, the problem comes back on us. Is that we want the Bible to say what we want it to say. You know, Paul wrote to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And he said that concerning him and Apollos, they taught the same thing everywhere in every single church. So he wouldn't be teaching Methodist doctrine in one place and Baptist doctrine in another place and then the Pentecostal spin on the Bible, you know, somewhere else. No, it was absolutely identical. Why don't we have that? Some may say, well, the Bible is just too hard to understand. I don't think that's the case. As Paul said in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 4, he says, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge into the mystery of Christ. So the Bible is not too complicated to understand. Yes, there are some complicated things that's contained in it, and it takes some more study, but overall, we can, we can read it and, and understand what it says. You know, how hard is it to understand where Jesus said, repent or perish, Luke 13, 3. Not that we should repent. He said, no, if you don't want to perish, you better repent. That means change your way that you're living and do things my way. You know, we can just go on and on and on, but I think this uh, scripture here deserves some, some meditation on our part. Why do we have places in the religious world today all teaching a different spin and different applications on, 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 on these letters that, that we have written to these churches. Why? I believe it's very simple, like I said before. We want the Bible to say what we want it to say. We don't want to hear it say, you can't do this and you can't do that, or the way that I'm living is wrong, or the way that I'm worshiping is wrong. We don't want to be constrained um, into what the Holy Spirit had revealed to these inspired writers. So what do we have? You know, I, I've, been, I've been, you know, 
been preaching God's word now for, for over 20 years. And, and I don't know how many times I have had people say, why are there so many churches? It's a very, it's a very simple answer. That's about what we're talking about now. People not respecting the authority of the scriptures and they make it mean what they want it to mean. And they ignore the parts of it that they just do not want to hear. But again, notice back in our text, these two letters would not have contradicted one another. These two letters to the Laodiceans and to the Colossians, they would have complemented one another. They, the, Paul would not uh, you know, say one thing to one church and then write something to pacify them or tell them something that they wanted to hear. No. It was straight up, this is what it is. You know, we may not like it at times. It may go against what we want to be true, and it may go against, you know, what, uh, what our pastor or what our preacher or what our reverend says. But it's consistent. It's consistent with what Paul says. Here's one of these patches why we need to understand what he's talking about. There's not your truth and my truth and their truth and her truth. It's the truth. And each one of these letters, they, it's all truth and they have to reconcile. For example, you just can't, you know, you just, we just cannot hang on to Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. We're saved by grace through faith. And then just completely ignore what Peter said in 1 Peter 3 and verse 21. It says, well, baptism saves us. Well, how? I don't think Peter lied. That's what I'm talking about. It's all truth. How does it fit together? And we have to leave our opinions out of what we think it says or what we want it says and just take it for what it says. I'm going to leave you with that. There's your dose of God's word. Paul wouldn't have written two different letters. These two letters would have complemented one another. There's your dose of God's word. Get in your Bible and consider these things. Why are there so many churches? Why are there all these doctrines? Why are we not saying the exact same thing as Paul would have said in these two letters? Self-will is what you will honestly come back down to. Hey, hope you all have a great day. Lord willing, we'll get back tomorrow and get us another dose of God's word. And until then, hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.